Today we're talking about how to remove a white background in Photoshop. Three easy and quick ways. Coming up. Hi and welcome to It's Never Too Late to Learn. My name is Charles Cabrera. It's my mission to bring you short and easy tutorials to help you get started with Photoshop, Lightroom, and photography. If you like to learn this way, please consider subscribing and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Let's get started. In this example, we're working with this background image and we're also going to use another image that's a stock image that is on a white background. So we're going to cut this image out of the background and we're going to place it on the image below. So to cut this image out of the background, we're going to use the magic wand tool. So let's look at some of the settings. So we can set a different sample average up here. We're going to use point sample since we're mainly concerned with just choosing the white colors. And for tolerance, we're going to leave that around five. So tolerance determines the color range of selected pixels. And so a higher value selects a broader range of colors. So we want mainly white. So we're going to keep it low, like around five. Anti-alias that uh, creates a smoother edge selection. So we're going to definitely leave that on. Contiguous um, selects only adjacent areas using the same colors. So we're just going to leave that off. And as far as the settings, that will do it. So now with the magic wand tool selected, we can just click in the image and it started to make a selection. If you press shift, it's going to add to the selection. So anywhere that we need to select again, as long as we have the shift pressed down, we can keep on adding to the selection. So just looking around the image here, that looks pretty good. Uh, one good thing about um, this here, what it, it did not select is the shadow. Just want you to see that, that that's going to help when we drop it in the uh, image behind it. So now that we've made a selection with the magic wand, we can highlight the layer where we made the selection, come down here to the bottom and hold alt or option and add layer mask. Now we have this heavy machinery here that is cut out from the white background. If I turn off the layer below, you can see the transparency. And now we can come in here and clean this up by pressing command T. I can come in here and resize and move this all around and we can work uh, on this further. Get the layer mask selected. And this is just to give you an idea if I use the brush tool and I paint with black and of course take my time. I'm not going to take all of your time to show you this, but I will, I will work with this and bring it back in when I'm done so that you can see what it looks like. See, this is why I kept uh, the shadow because I can paint away what I, what I don't want and kind of blend it in. And so just as an example of what you can do, and you can take your time working on it. I'm on the layer mask and I have black as my color that I'm painting with and, and I am painting out areas that I do not want and I can go through the whole image and do that so here's the image all cleaned up now and all I did was continue to paint with black on the layer mask cleaning up some of the edges in a case like this it looks pretty good with the uh, selection done by the magic wand tool and if I click shift and click on the layer mask Here's our piece of machinery on the white background. If I click an alt option and click on the thumbnail, here is my layer mask. And just clicking around here, you can see it did a pretty good job in cutting this out. Not 100% perfect, but it looks pretty good. So as far as cutting this image out of its white background, that part's done. Now, obviously this image could use a lot more work. The colors could be matched and um, a few things can be done to make it blend more into this image, but this is the general idea and how good the magic wand tool is at getting that detail and perfect for 
cutting an image out of a white background. So in this example, we're going to use a blend mode to help us cut our subject out of the background. So here we have a yellow background and here's our subject on a white background. So what we can do is use the multiply blend mode because it darkens. So now as you can see, all the dark areas are coming through and to get rid of that, we can do control J, command J and make a copy of that background layer and change the blend mode back to normal. So now we're going to go back to the magic wand tool and here are the settings. We'll keep it at point sample. Also the tolerance. If I just click in here, you can see that there's a, a, a big area that it did not select. So command D will get rid of that selection. And if I raise the number to say 30 and click, it's selected more around the subject. So the higher number, the more is going to get selected, but there is an, a, an area where you need to try different settings to see how the selection comes out for you and holding down the shift. It looks pretty good. We've got a lot of areas that are selected already. And then we can come down here to the add layer mask, hold down the alter option key and click. And there is our layer mask. So now that we have our layer mask, we can go around the image and kind of see what we need to touch up. And uh, if you want to know more about layer mask, up in the card, there should be a link to a video on layer mask and I'll put a link in the description but going around the image just uh, checking to see if there's any places that uh, you know maybe we could take care of and I am painting with black right on this area right here okay pretty good so continuing with a soft round brush and the foreground color black, I'm going to paint on the outside of her hair. It's probably the hardest part of cutting, of cutting somebody out of any background is is the hair but in this case it's working fairly good just takes um, a little patience go slowly i like to move around going uh sections especially this area up here where it's hair is going a lot of different ways it is difficult to cut out and this is the challenge right here with doing composites and cutting people out of a background of any color. So I'm not going to spend any more time at, at this. You can take your time if you would like to do it on your own. You can try different backgrounds. Now it should work for other backgrounds. So the hair still looks good. Nice cut out pretty quick. And you can even put somebody on a background like that. Sure, it needs a little bit more work and matching the, the light between the, the subject and the background. But you know, this is an example. It didn't take that long. And we have the subject cut out of a white background. So in this next example, we're going to use something called select subject. And up here where the magic wand menu is, there's something called select subject. So when we click on that, Photoshop did a pretty good job of selecting the subject. Come down here to where it says add layer mask. Click on that. And there you can see where it's transparent. Here is the subject cut out. So now that we've used the select subject to cut our subject out, we can refine the layer mask. This is what the layer mask looks like right now. So we can refine that mask by double clicking on the mask and going to select and mask. So with this on view on black, I can use the refine edge tool and just paint right on the outside or over the hair and let Photoshop 
refine that edge and we can move around the image and see where else we can use this tool brought that fingernail back so now we can output this to a layer mask so to see the layer mask now I'm going to click on alt option and as you see the layer mask is not bad we can refine that further by using our brush tool and using the overlay mode using white as our foreground color and just in certain areas we can paint anywhere anywhere where we see the layer mask needs some refining so again here's the re refined layer mask clicking alt or option turns this on and off if I remove the la white layer below you can see that all the hair right here has been cut out all the way around all the little fine hairs so that is combining select subject and a little bit of the refine mask tools in Photoshop to cut out a subject from a white background. So cutting subjects out of any background can be difficult, but these techniques that I just showed you will work well for white backgrounds. So this brings us to the question of the day. Which of these techniques would you use to cut out a subject from a white background? Let me know in the comment below. So thanks again for watching. If this was helpful, Please hit that like button and consider subscribing. If you would like to see more videos on Photoshop, check out the ones on the screen above. And remember, it's never too late to learn. See you in the next video.